notice when I start being conscious and like reading all the labels and, and making sure that none of the stuff has soy, I noticed that my skin was would clear up so hey guys welcome back to my page my channel um if this is your first time coming on this channel welcome and thank you and make sure you watch it to the end but i'm marcia founder and owner of i am skin beauty and we have a company um what we specialize is, is spa day treatment in the comfort of your own home we have some really fun sunglasses that you guys can kind of catch that vibe when you're stepping out um, we want to be a part of your outdoor experience in your home so make sure you check out our website and follow us on Instagram um, you get to see the items live in effect and thank you guys for coming back but let's get right into it today's video is gonna be something short sweet and simple and straight to the point um, five reasons why your uh, plant-based diet isn't clearing up your acne <laughs> so make sure you watch it to the end all right guys so if you see <laughs> my tongue is yellow I just had like turmeric tea and I forgot that I was gonna record so um, I promise you guys the tongue is usually pink, but right now it's yellow and I can't get it. I put Listerine. I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to let it be. But back to the video. Um, I just have to say that disclaimer because I know somebody going to be like, why her tongue is yellow? It's because I had turmeric in my tea. <laughs> all right, guys. So reason number one, before I say the reasons, you guys all by now who are familiar with my channel know that I struggle with acne prone skin your girl is acne prone she is oily like if if the the wind blows the wrong way my skin will break out I have super sensitive skin so I know how important it is to share this knowledge that I have gained on my journey clearing up my skin with you guys so you guys can get this chocolate glowy skin like your girl you know <laughs> Ah, look at look at my skin okay yeah back to it but yeah so you know I struggle with acne so yeah I created this business this channel just to kind of help out uh, like I said before we're working on so many other great things so you are probably going to see skincare down in I am skin beauty it only makes sense but I can't really talk about that now so just know when I'm talking acne I, I know what I'm talking about because your girl suffer with acne okay so that being said, I struggle with acne my childhood. I struggle with acne my teenagerhood. I struggle my um, acne with in my adulthood, which is crazy because you'll think like over 25, you will stop breaking out. But for some reason, I felt like my acne came back um like I was still a teenager girl because I had the worst acne when I was, um, you know, maturing into a, a, a pre-woman you know so I, I hormones was out of control got my period um and started to get acne and you know like I want to say throughout my teenager years I kind of cleared it up like I, I I didn't really suffer with acne like that then my adult year um for the most of my adult year I cleared cleared it up but just recently it came back and it came back strong and I was like what the fuck is going on oops sorry what what is going on <laughs> can you curse on here i'm not sure but excuse me excuse my um what's that word i'm looking for excuse my language but yeah so that being said um yeah i just struggle with adult um acne so i was on your girl was on a journey to get clear skin and i definitely achieved that you know getting clear skin so i just want to share the knowledge with you guys so num the first reason and that being said uh wait wait let me go back that being said i decided to go plant-based um, it is a difference between plant-based and vegan. I am not completely 100% vegan. Vegan is people that, you know, choose to live a vegan life um, that pretty much does everything vegan. Like their toothpaste, their deodorant, the shoes they wear, the clothes they wear is all vegan. Nothing comes from an animal. You know, I'm not quite there yet. Although I'm there sometimes, but I'm not there all the time. So I live a plant-based life and um, plant-based life is people that choose to eat a healthy diet so there is a difference but sometimes you know we we're so like people say vegan so i will slip and say vegan but it's really quote unquote a plant-based life because i'm not 100 percent vegan i eat a plant-based diet if that makes sense all right so let's get right into it guys so um number one which is so crazy we don't ever really pay attention to 
I know for me, I, I have it in the past and it made a big, big difference with me clearing up my skin is oil, cooking oil, facial oil. But let's talk about cooking oil because I have talked about facial oils. Check out the other videos. I have video of jojoba oil, vitamin E, and rosehip oil, non-cosgenic oil. So you can watch those videos. But let's talk about cooking oil. Um, your girl found out that she was allergic to soy. A lot of products have soy in it. Yeah, so I found that I was allergic to soy. And the way I found out, um, I had a friend at that time. She also was acne prone. She had like severe acne. Um, so she was like, she was able to get it clear. And then she was telling me like, kind of watch um, soy. She was like, watch peanuts and things in that nature. And I'm like, I realized like, um, you know, I'm from Florida and I move, I'm out here on the West coast now. I know I should probably say I'm from Florida because Florida, I don't know what's going on. Every time I look on the shade room, it's something, some mess going on. But anyways, back to skin. <laughs> so yeah, I'm from Florida and I moved out here to California and I've been out here for a while now. I've been out here for a few years now um, and I realized like a lot of stuff out here that I cook with have soy and um, when she said that I realized well damn like I make teriyaki salmon I make fried rice um, you know and I'm cooking and vegetable oil and I started to look at my ingredients and I'm like they all pretty much have soy even like grabbing like a, a, a treat or a snack usually has soy in it and I notice when I start being conscious and like reading all the labels and, and making sure that none of the stuff has soy I noticed that my skin was would clear up so I stopped cooking with vegetable oil I'm um, obviously um you know not obviously because you don't you guys don't know but i started to cook with um um extra virgin olive oil and i know there's a, a difference too but i i fry my food and you know vegetable oil is that go-to oil when you want to fry your food so i had to figure out what other oil can i use so i started to use sunflower oil I actually have it here so I won't forget the name. <laughs> so this is what I use to fry my food. I have to bring it out so I won't forget the name. So sunflower oil, you can get this from Trader Joe's, um, Whole Foods, but yeah. I fry my food with this oil. It does not break me out, which I absolutely love and appreciate because like I said before, your girl is acne, acne prone. And um. And I'll have I'll have my slip up, guys. Don't get me don't get it twisted. Like I will eat from you know a food truck and they'll be vegan. And because it's vegan, we all think it's healthy or it's not gonna cause any acne, which is not true. And um and and I won't ask these questions like, oh, what do you fry your food in? And I, if you're looking for good um oils that I highly recommend, like I said, the sunflower oil is good, olive um extra olive oil is good coconut oil is pretty good too um avocado oil is pretty good too those those oils for me for my skin they don't trigger acne when i cook with them so um if maybe try that out if you are cooking if you're plant-based and you're breaking down and you can't figure it out so that's number one so number two so number two um something really simple too that we probably don't pay attention to that was breaking me out and i'm pretty sure it'll be helpful for you guys i also found out through my whole process that um i i'm allergic to nuts like nuts triggers my acne i never really liked nuts like even sneaker bars like that's the only time i would really tolerate nuts if it's in my sneaker bar but i, I was never even when i eat m m's i take out that nut so i was never a nut person so but the little nut that I was taking in and like, you know, food that have nuts I wasn't paying attention to, like tree nuts and peanuts and, you know, all that crazy nuts. But it's it's tricky because I'll tell you the only nut that I'm really not allergic to that doesn't trigger my acne. But yeah, um, yeah, so nuts were really just breaking me out. And like I said, a lot of food have nuts in it. It's hidden nuts that you have to read. Um, let me just say this. When you are trying to clear up your skin um, with a plant-based diet, read. Read the label. Get um, used to reading everything. Like Take that extra two, three minutes to read the labels because just because it's plant-based, that doesn't mean that it's healthy or that doesn't mean it's not going to trigger your acne. 
it's going most of the time a plant-based trigger your acne even more because a lot of those stuff they have to substitute it because it's plant-based so they have to substitute it with nuts and soy and all that other stuff just to give it that flavor and taste so you got to be mindful like guys when you um getting food from plant-based community getting food read your labels but yeah so nuts for me was triggering my acne I will break out so now i'm like reading everything making sure it doesn't have nuts the one nut i can nuts nuts i can take is almond nuts i'm okay with that almond is good i drink almond milk i've been drinking almond milk for the last 10 years now it does not trigger my acne if anything it helps me out i drink almond nuts like no other like i use it on my smoothie sometimes i switch it up to oak milk but from for the most part i like almond i like almond milk and you know okay so number three i could not put the three up number three number three is it's simple guys it's processed food again just because you're plant-based or just because it says vegan on the label that doesn't mean it won't trigger your acne you got to read these labels and a lot of processed food that is vegan is junk food it you might as well go have mcdonald's if you're gonna eat it like it's really junk food it's a lot of those stuff have chemicals in it because they're trying to substitute the fact that it's plant-based and a lot of those products too they still have milk like a lot of those frozen products plant-based products have milk they have soy they have peanuts so those are the things especially we all know that by now if you don't know anything else you know that dairy triggers acne so be mindful guys with processed food um i like cooking my food like i cook 95 percent of the time and sometimes 100 percent of the time because like i said i'm acne prone i i kind of I've been in this on this journey for a while. I'm seeing what work and what doesn't work. I'm taking this thing out of my diet, this thing out of my diet. I'm not eating this food no more. And it's really been helping. But, you know, I have to cook my food 95% of the time because... I will break out. <laughs> so I've been noticing with processed food and just because it has plant-based on the front label to get your attention, that doesn't mean anything. Read those labels. It has chemical. Vegan where it still gets to me that, oh, it's healthy. Oh, it's not going to break me out. It's vegan. So I had a little, you know, a little mess up and order some food and the food was not even that good and I should have asked her like what do you cook what you fry your food in because I know you know again going back to oils and things like that I didn't ask those questions and your girl I broke out like I, you know I'm still clearing up from this breakout but overall my skin still look you know chocolate pretty and glowy but yeah so again processed food guys be mindful stay away from it try to cook your vegan food i know um everybody runs on a busy schedule but trust me if you want to clear your acne take that 30 minutes 45 minutes to cook your food and you will you are you are like i guarantee you are going to see results especially if those things are triggering your acne okay processed food is a no-no sometimes some of them some of them is not all of them it's not all of them that is bad i have been to a few vegan restaurants i do not break out and and i don't even ask them what they cook with and honestly i don't really eat fried food like that so that could be that too but that one time in you know in a long time that i ate fried food from a truck i broke out usually i cook my own fried food but it's all good i'm still pretty though period <laughs> so number four number four guys number four we all should know by now sugar sugar triggers acne sugar triggers and raise your blood pressure it will leave sebum that will trigger your acne like sugar is just one of those things we should know by now sugar and dairy will give you acne for sure and again because it's split plant-based you might pick up a, a bar and it's gonna say plant-based and it's gonna have you know all your favorite ingredients whatever read the label and most like not most likely by law they should have if they added sugar so if they're adding sugar on top of the sugar and sugar 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 it's gonna lead to acne so 
Um, yeah, sugar cereal, guys. Be mindful about that. I'm a girl that grew up on cereal. Like, we ate cereal in the morning. We ate cereal for lunch. We ate cereal for dinner. We ate cereal late night. So, I love cereal. I We grew up on cereal. My mom always kept cereals in the household. Uh, at that time, when I was staying with my mom, of course, I wasn't plant-based. I wasn't, you know, living a plant-based life. So, you know... You know what the funny thing about that? Um, I wasn't even well, I guess I was breaking out. That's probably why. But now I know better. But yeah, so cereal, those bars, those protein bars, those vegan bars, all those little hidden stuff that says plant-based, read it. If there's a lot of sugar in it, it's going to trigger your acne. Um, what else? Oh, those like fruit, uh, even even too much of um, fruits too can actually trigger acne because you got to be mindful, especially the fruits that have the syrup in it, like the fruit cans that have the syrup in it. Because it's fruits, we think that is, you know, most of us think that it's healthy and it may not trigger acne. Some of those um, syrups, you know, have things that trigger acne. So be mindful of that. You want to make sure that you read the labels or if you're going to do fruits, do like the organic fruits or not eat, like do straight up fruits. Don't do fruits in the can with the syrup. Just do like if it has pineapple, just do straight pineapple. Get you a pineapple, cut it. You know, it's way better it leaves you peace of mind you don't have right, guys so number five so number five um like i had no idea until i did my research is those wheat protein powders because i'm a girl that works out I've, I've been working out for years i've been working out pretty much all my life so um you know, I thought, you know, when powder, protein powders were like a trend. So I got into the trend thinking like, okay, I'm gonna get stronger and I need this to, you know, feel um, like I need this for my workout and, you know, things like that. Cause everybody was on this protein powder, add the protein to uh, all that stuff. And I, I was doing that. I was trying to get into it. I wanted to, you know, to feel, you know, buff and not buff. Obviously, I'm a woman. I like to look sexy, but I wanted to feel stronger. <laughs> I wanted to feel stronger. And it's okay if you like to feel buff as a woman. You can do whatever you want to. Okay. But I wanted to feel sexy. And um, yeah, so I feel like I needed those proteins. So a lot of those protein powder had wheat in it. And the wheat would just, oh, that thing would tear my skin up like and i'm like where is this coming from why every time i you know drink this protein powder it made me feel some type of way and my skin would just you know break out like crazy so i had to really start again reading the labels and doing my research and figuring out why am i breaking out and i found out it's like the wheat in there so those wheat products it, it it triggers acne it may not do it for all but i know it was doing it for me and i'm pretty sure if it's doing it for me it's probably doing it for a, a thousand of you guys out there that's why i'm making this video i want to say these are the five things that kind of trigger my acne being on a plant-based diet and i feel that when i took all those things out it has cleared up like i said i had a little a little mess up and I'm I'm okay with this. Like back then, if I wasn't living the lifestyle I'm living and really taking care of my skin, back then this would have been like 10 times worse because I wouldn't know what was triggering my acne. So I would eat something and then eat it again the next day and eat it again the next day. And then my skin will break out, not even knowing what's going on. Now I'm very aware of what's going on, what I put inside my, you know, my, my diet, what I put inside of my body. And this is one of the reasons many reasons why my skin is clearing up as you can see your girl's skin looks really really good i'm giving you like chocolate and mind you honey i have no makeup on <laughs> so this is actually my skin i just have you know a little mascara a little lip gloss you know gotta keep the lips all nice and moist and moisturized you know but yeah like i i love my skin like back then i couldn't really say that because i will hide my skin with makeup, um, with filters, I still use little filters in here and there because that's my business, like Tabitha say. But 
for the most part like look your girl is good she's good out in these streets honey like come on like my skin is looking good and plant-based diet has been um it's been great and the only reason why i want to say it's been great because i learned how to cook plant-based diet food if i didn't know how to cook it I would have been picking up those foods in the grocery aisle in a frozen section and just if it says plant-based oh okay it's good you know but i learned throughout this journey that stuff is just to catch your attention for you to buy it it it's bs guys read the label it's not all of them it's not all of the um you know the fast food i mean i'm sorry not the fast the frozen food that um are garbage i still eat from time to time, I still will have like a frozen food, but again, I will read, I'll make sure it has no soy, none of that stuff that is going to trigger my acne, no soy, no peanuts, no um, um, peanut tree, no, none of that stuff. So I will read a label. So there are some good frozen vegan or plant-based food out there that, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the ingredients is good. Everything is good. Everything nice nice <laughs> but there's a lot of them that's not um i can't tell you guys to go plant-based that is not i can't i can't tell you but i if you're if you're suffering with acne go plant-based and if you are plant-based and you can't figure out why your skin isn't clearing up maybe take those steps that i you know, maybe take the the advice that I just gave out and see if that helps. Like I said, I know even the soy advice that I got from a friend at that time helped me. And I gave that advice to someone who, who was suffering with acne as well too. And that helped her. So I'm pretty sure me giving this advice to whoever's out there, the Iron Skin Beauty beauty community i hope that helps you as well too but i actually do enjoy the plant-based life will i be would i be plant-based forever i mean that's what i'm leading to i'm leading it to forever i don't have any kids yet you know so i don't know if i want to go into like you know if the kids gonna get be plant-based but um uh, so far i'm just living day to day Every day I'm learning something new with a, a plant-based ingredients that I'm enjoying. Um, guys, go watch all my other videos. I have some videos on there that I cook plant-based food that has none of those ingredients that breaks you out. Um, feel free to watch those, but I'm enjoying it. And there's so many other, other more videos that I'm going to have out that, um, you know, me cooking plant-based or me talking about stuff that breaks you out. So this is one of many and thank you guys for watching like i said make sure you check out our website on your skin beauty because you are your skin beauty and make sure you go on our instagram tiktok and facebook and hit that follow button we greatly will appreciate it and also to um make sure you're true to yourself be good to yourself and you are your skin beauty peace